What's up divas and divas? So I decided to do something straight for today because I just was feeling like in that straight mood. I think like sometimes straight hair looks so like so cute. Okay. Okay, so let's get into this wig video with tutorial. This one right here is from a company. This is like the first time for me ever working with them. I don't even know why I'm yelling, but <clears throat> me, 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 me. Hmm. So this is the first time for me working with this company. They do have some really really nice units So make sure that you click the link below. I'll also be including in this video is some saving coupon codes You know like if you want to save some money You can definitely click the link below and check out those codes They do have virgin Brazilian hair and they also have full lace wigs lace front wigs and bundle here So if you guys want to make a wig or you already want one made for you You can definitely check them out the unit did come in this nice cute little satin satchel and it does have their logo on the bag along with that is their website they're also on Instagram so for those of you guys who love social media as I was saying this is their virgin Brazilian 18 inch 150 percent glueless full lace wig with the glueless full lace wig you guys you already know you can part this anywhere you want you can pop this puppy anywhere you want meaning all the way down the middle from the ruler to the tutor you can part this all the way through I think like to me in my perspective I like glueless full lace wigs more the most because like I said if you are one who likes to do like a whole bunch of different stuff then definitely check out a glueless full lace wig it has three combs in the front there's one in the middle which I never use I'm not really sure what wig companies do that but I never use this one it's kind of like a hassle and then there's the one in the back along with the adjustable straps there is lace to be cut off on this bad boy. It's pretty. It's really, really straight. The hairline is pre-plugged, so it'll give you the, the most natural hairline. The lace is like a light brown lace, and it is a 150% density. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to definitely cut the lace off because that's like the importance of wearing a lace wig. So I always say to use like really small scissors. I like to use like these curved small scissors because it just gives you like the precise cut. It's not like really blunt and straight. I do prefer the curved ones. You can get them definitely anywhere. So I'm really not trying to like glue it down, tape it down, or really like gel it down. I don't really like to do that as much. So I'm going to just try to just kind of like gel the baby hairs down. That way the wig is in place, but it does have the comb. So let's begin with this tutorial, okay? Alright love, so let's get to styling this unit. So first things first, let me situate my stocking cap underneath and put this Dynasty Goddess on. So as I stated, this is 150% density, it is 18 inches, and it's a virgin Brazilian straight glueless full lace wig, which means you can part her anywhere you choose. Now the one thing that I did notice is the combs that are placed in the unit are kind of not in the right place, meaning Normally the front combs are supposed to be like by your temple or at least by your ears. They're further back They're behind your ears So it makes it a little bit harder to you know position where you would want to so for this one I'm definitely going to have to use gel to tack it down because it will not stay in place as I would prefer it to with the combs So the first thing I'm going to use is my styling mousse by herbal essence I do like to use this on the baby hairs because I really don't like to use too much glue or excuse me too much gel on the baby hairs You just don't want it too gel down but I do use the styling mousse just to get the baby hair situated and first going. And as you guys seen, I did use my Gorilla Snot Gel in the red jar. I do like that one as well. It's a little bit um, less... Um, it's not as tacky or sticky as the yellow one but it does have a good hold so I did brush them up into the unit just to camouflage the lace I don't like a lot of baby hairs but as you guys seen I do cut them because I don't like them too long and now that I've got them situated um, it's just simple. There are so many different tutorials on YouTube of how to do baby hairs and I kind of like do them quite frequently in my wigs. So I'm going to take my wig barrel, curl, my, excuse me, my curling barrel, which I love this one. This is an eight interchangeable system and I'm going to just flatten the front of the unit just so it can lay a little bit flatter and then I'm going to put some curls in it. I did want to wear it all straight, like sleek straight, but I did want a little bit more volume. You know guys, I love big hair. Like I say, if you're going to wear 
wear a wig then do it big so I do like my hair to be very voluminous very full and so putting curls in it just gives you that more full look it just gives you a lot of added dimension a lot of added volume so I didn't want it too curly so I just gave it more or less some like a loose bump curls just to give it a little bit of flow and so that way it can flow a lot freely so I'm just situating the wig down I did use the Gorilla Snot Gel to adhere to the wig it may not work as hard as let's say got to be but Gorilla Snot Gel does work really well I do like the holds of it it doesn't flake up like the got to be so that's why I prefer to use it more than the got to be now this wig does have a lot of volume I thought it'd be really cute for a Valentine's Day wig you know something sultry and sexy and flirty I didn't want to do too many tight curls because I just wanted something really really sultry so that way you can change from going into work to your night outfit to your you know night night outfit and i thought that these loose bump curls were very sultry and sexy so definitely check out dynasty goddess they have some really nice hair bundle hair wigs and what you want they got it so let's get into the finished look of this tutorial and let me guys let me know what you think of this look Alrighty guys, so Dynasty Goddess. So this is the 18 inch Virgin Brazilian Straight Glueless Full Lace Wig. First of all, the density is 150 density, 150% density. So it is rather very thin in the front. Not very thin, but it's very natural looking. The only issue that I had with this unit was the fact that the combs, instead of them being right here where they needed to be, they were more or less back here, which made it a little bit more difficult. So I ended up having to use my got to be gel just to gel it down on the sides and hold it down in place because there wasn't, the combs were not positioned correctly. I really did want to wear it straight, but I wanted to give it some volume. So I definitely had to use my wand curler as you guys see um, for it to be 18 inches it really kind of looks like 20 to me um, it does, so it does look a little bit longer than the normal 18 inches normally when I see the 18 inches they're like probably up to here on me but this is a a little bit longer so I am feeling like it's 20 but it's really actually not I like when I get a wig when it's supposed to be one length and it's longer like I'm saying Thank you. I just really don't like a lot of baby hair, so I try to keep it looking as natural as possible. And because I had to kind of like glue this down or gel it down, I did have to kind of like slick the baby hairs and kind of like make them look as natural as possible. Um, as for the density, it's 150 for those of you guys who like 150, or if you like it more natural looking, then 150 is actually the most natural looking volume and density you can get for me you know I like a lot of hair what I tell you guys if I'm aware of a wig I'm gonna do it big like all the time I love big hair so I did actually want to make it more voluminous and that's the reason why I did put the curls in it so dynasty goddess so since this is virgin hair you guys know you definitely don't have to keep it this particular color you can bleach it you can dye it you can customize it make it your own you know what I mean you can order different lengths each of their hair does come in different different lengths like I said they do sell bundle hair and wigs and I will also definitely post a coupon code for you guys below so that way you can save some shit money okay so you guys let me know what you think of this unit right here it's a dark color but you know what I thought it would be really cute for Valentine's Day you know for Valentine's Day you want to be flirty and very like sensual and sexy and just like you know vivacious so I didn't want to have it too curly or you know like too tightly curled so that's why I said I would wear it straight but these very very blunt or very very loose bumped curls are still very very sultry as well so yes you guys let me know what you think of this unit right here and I will post all of the info below for you guys I hope you enjoyed this video stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up share it with everybody you love in the entire world and I will see you guys in a soon to come video Thank you.